Hey, I'm Shaq, and welcome to Readings, Pisces. Pisces, before we begin, I just want to speak to the new subscribers. Welcome, darlings. Welcome to Readings. So glad that you found us, and hope you find what you're looking for here. Hope you find healing and answers. Someone had asked, and many people asked me, why I do not show the cards on the board? Reason being is because I read a whole different way. I read through spirit. And a card, for example, the Four of Swords is healing. But if you were to see the cards and you know the cards, you would say, okay, there's a healing card. But the cards surrounding it and what spirit says, what I read, so you could see this healing card and I could say, oh, you're not feeling well. You'd be like, how to... So either way, if you were to see the cards, you would be confused on what I was saying. Ergo, I don't show them. We read from spirit. Spirit is very strong in the room ever since I took this deck out. These cards are, these cards are magic. These cards are truth. These cards go very, very deep. And who can go deeper than a Pisces? We're gonna go to the Hermetic Tarot. They're not real pretty to look at. But, You can get a better reading from me. Pisces. Pisces. Let's go deep. See how deep you really go. Pisces. Breathe. Let spirit speak. First of all, Pisces has just popped into my head, Ben. I don't have a name for you. I don't see a name. But you gotta stop believing in scary stories. You got yourself frightened at night because you think that there might be monsters or something. You gotta stop with the scary story stuff. That's gotta go. Let it go. Let's go. I have the Four of Cups, a Lord of Blended Pleasure. Blended Pleasures. Mm. All kinds of pleasure there. Now, the Four of Cups does mean to refuse a cup. I'm bored. I'm tired of it. I don't want it. I don't want the cup. Mm -mm. Keep your cup. I have other things to do. I have blended pleasures. I have this to do and that to do and this to go to and that to go to. The Three of Pentacles, the Lord of Material Work. What are you up to? Followed by the Two of Wands, the Lord of, Dom of Dominion. Followed by the Knight of Pentacles, the Lord of the Wild and fertile land. Are you sowing seeds, Pisces? Yes, indeed. I really feel that you are. You're sowing seeds. The Three of Pentacles, the Lord of Material Work. It is a rebuild card. Rebuilding on firmer and stronger foundations. No, I don't want you, Cup. I got things happening, I'm planting seeds. You're standing at the crossroads, the two of wands. And like I said, the two of wands, when you stand at the crossroads, I don't know if you know the story about the crossroads. The crossroads are actually four paths. Two and, and, and two. <laughs> two and two, oh, I, I did it wrong, but hey, you know what I mean. Crossroads are four paths. 
but these are two. One going back, and one going forward. One going forward, where you can look at it and say, oh, look at all that land. Look at all the things I have yet to discover. Look at all the things I have yet to do. The Lord of the wild and fertile land, the King of the Knight of Pentacles. I think you're sowing seed here, Pisces. I think you're saying to yourself, you know what, this is not all about that. I've come to find out that, you know what, I, I got interests in other things. I've got some projects I want to work on and work on them, I believe you will, darling. Now the crossroads. You can meet some um, wonderful characters at the crossroads. You can meet some shady characters, some unlikely ones. Ones that you just might not expect. The Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, and this is the Lord of Success unfulfilled but you're planting your seeds so don't get discouraged but watch here the seven of pentacles reversed this is anxiousness have you met someone and you're sowing new seed this is anxiousness and you know where that's going to take you Right? Right. Who are you meeting at Crossroads here? It's not good to be anxious and want things to move fast or, or to maybe say, oh, I met someone and they're absolutely perfect. When did you meet them? Two days ago. How, come, how do you know they're perfect? How? You're just looking at what they're telling you and, and looking at the outward shell. You don't know especially in two days give it time don't get anxious don't get excited or if you're working on a project that book or if someone uh, has given you an idea and you think oh my god yeah I always wanted to do that don't be anxious just breathe Pisces for God's sake breathe darling the child of the great transformers and that is death Death card, the child of the great transformers. To let something wither away for rebirth. Justice, the daughter of the land of truth, of the Lord of truth. The daughter of the Lord of truth, followed by temperance, daughter of the reconcilers. Hold on. The Knight of Wands, the Lord of Flame and Lightning. The Two of Cups, the Lord of Love. And the Last Judgment, the Spirit of the Primal Fire. You're going to piss someone off, that's for damn sure. Okay, Pisces. There's something happening here. Justice is coming out and saying, okay, Pisces. You're getting all excited again. Instead of just minute by minute, stay in the now. Don't have grand friggin' ideas for the future. And, and you're refusing the cup of the past. That's a good thing. But you can meet some unlikely characters at the Two of Wands at the crossroads. You're putting an end to something for the rebirth of something else. And I believe this is the rebirth of Pisces. I think you are planting seeds for tomorrow. But the thing is, is that you're getting excited and, and karma comes out. Oh, you want to get excited to you, Pisces? Didn't you do that the last time? Didn't you get all excited the last time, Pisces? What you got to do is you've got to temperance card, keep yourself balanced here. Test the waters. Go slow. Ooh, those waters are freaking cold, man. Ooh, I'm not jumping in there. But those waters are lovely and warm and beautiful. Ooh, 
Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes focused straight ahead. Watch your emotions. Watch what you may have done the last time. Karma screaming loud and clear. There's a lesson here, and that lesson is Pisces. That, that lesson is something that you've done before that you're starting to do again. And it's nice to get excited about new love. Very nice to get excited about it. But don't build an entire future on it. Slow it down, darling. The Knight of Wands, the Lord of the Flame of Flame and Lightning. Now this is just very little, very little, um, it's not a page, it's a knight, but it's not a king. So it's very little communication back and forth with somebody that all of a sudden you're feeling thunder and lightning and flames and wow, they're fantastic, they're absolutely awesome. Oh my God, I've met the one. I've only known them for two days or a week. And I know it's love. I know there's someone coming towards you, Pisces. And it is love because it is the Lord of love. The Two of Cups. This Two of Cups, this is someone who has... Um, that has everything that is like you. Think like you. Breathe when you breathe. Speak. When you finish each other's sentences, you'll probably laugh about it. Oh my God, we're so much alike, I just finished a sentence. Whew. Don't let it go to your head. Slow down, Pisces. Slow down. There's something karmic here. Slow, darling. The last judgment, the spirit of the primal fire. Well, there's someone here that's kind of pissed off that you refuse their cup or that. You have planted seeds and is now. And is now chosen you instead of them. So someone is going to be a little bit um, dismayed by your choice. Now they may try to come back. I don't know. Or they may just stalk your social media. I don't know, but see what else we can find out. The High Priestess, followed by the Ace of Cups. <laughs> and there it is. Now, I'd love to give you a fairy tale, darling. I really would. The High Priestess and the Ace of Cups, and this is your intuition. Even your high priestess, your high priest, come on guys, talk to you too, is telling you this is my ace of cups. This is the one. I've only known them for two days, but they're fantastic. They're the one. I can feel it. You're going to change overnight. But you got to stay on course because there's something karmic here, Pisces. And, and the thing is, it's it's within you, darling. God love you. It's something that you do. You, you, you jump too fast or you just have the need for love. And don't we all know what that feels like, darling? But all that's going to bring you is the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups is, is, is pain. And, and, and feel what, what happened? And now you're looking back and the Five of Cups is mourning. Mourning over what used to be. I hope you can bring yourself out of that. And then having your walls up against your Ten of Cups. What you thought was the Ten of Cups ends up being now very guarded against it. Pisces. Spirit. Yeah. 
wait. Another cup, another card. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed. The Lord of the root of the powers of earth in the reverse. Pisces, is there something here? Um, now this could be a past person because I have someone here that's very jealous. I've got someone here that's very, very jealous and the fact that you might have found someone else or you're planting seeds there's a possibility that this person um, with the last judgment the possibility this person's coming back with an ace of cups but it shows me that you refused to cop in the beginning and you're planting seeds because you're saying to yourself I am more than just that and the death card I'm ending it to start new to reverse but then justice comes in how many times you've taken somebody back, Pisces? Maybe this is a karmic lesson that is being taught. Hello. But either way, this is going to... I want you to prepare because this is going to end up in, in sorrow. What you think is a Ten of Cups is not. Or what you think of somebody coming back and, and, and being all very nice and, and wonderful is not. But the answer lies within you, because it's a karmic. But the karmic is you. I hate to say that. Hello, Uni. The karmic is you. There's something that you do, or a way that you uh, jump or leap, or just put all your eggs in one basket. Whatever it is, this is something with you that you have to understand. You have to tell yourself, I always do this. Um, maybe you just give and give and give and give and give and give. And when somebody new comes in, you, you just give and give and give because you want to show, oh, I, I love them so much. I just I, I just want to give them and, and buy and buy and give them and give them and give them. Well, don't work that way. That's karma. That's karmic. But that karmic is within you, not within them. And then when it doesn't work, there could be this, well, they use me. But that's not it. The karmic is you, darling. It's, it's within you. There's something that you have to learn not to do when you meet somebody else. Or when someone from the past comes back. Sorry, buddy. Or oh, when someone from the past comes back. Something has changed. There's something inside of you that has to be really looked at. And said, aha, uh -huh. I found out what it is. I know what it is. Let's shuffle and see if there's... The, the only thing I can say with that Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, I mean, Pisces, you're, you're absolutely delirious here at first. You're, you're so freaking happy. And, and you're so excited. And then crash. You're so excited. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm on the top of the world. universe hmm. followed by the ace of wands this is coming and the universe is leading you right into it oh why oh why oh why I have asked myself many times does this shit happen to me all the time oh why oh why oh why does the universe continue to bring new beginnings in the same shit only a different day why does the universe lead me into the same shit? New beginnings that crash. Something good happens. I get so excited. Crash. 
Why, oh why, oh why is the universe doing this to me? Well, the universe is taking you into a whole brand new beginning. Because it keeps waiting for you to say, uh huh, justice, karma, karmic. Aha, uh -huh. I think I found that culprit living inside me. It's because I get very excited and I give and give and give and give and give and give and give. And, give. and I don't expect anything back. I just, I just want to do and do and give and give and do and do. Look how much I love you. Look. I'm so excited. I'm in love. That's not love. That's not love, Pisces. There's a lesson to be learned here, darling. Lesson we all have gone through over and over and over and over and over and over. Queen of Cups, Pisces himself coming out. The universe bringing in the Ace of Wands, a new beginning for Pisces. Over and over and over again. Karmic. Let he who has an ear hear. The spirit moving you. I always do this. And then they leave me. I show them all my love and then they leave me. Slow down. Stop putting your entire future into one week of knowing somebody. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Let go. Understand why the universe keeps bringing it back. Understand. And until we understand our weaknesses. Until we understand that we cause a lot of our own bullshit and drama and our own shortcomings, then we won't heal. So the lesson comes around again, my darling. This time, put up those boundaries. Be prepared, be strong. Maybe you become very submissive when you meet somebody new. <laughs> or guys, maybe you walk around all kind of macho and stuff and you're not. Or maybe you just give too quick, too fast, too much. Put some reins on your heart, darling. Who's here? Well, Pisces, Taurus, Universe is all signs. Libra, Virgo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces. Could be meeting up with another Pisces, darling. Virgo, Scorpio. Capricorn. All signs are on the board with the universe card. But these are the signs that are prominent in your reading. Thank you, Spirit. We all learn. We live, we learn. And while we learn, it friggin' hurts. So let's try to learn without the pain this time. I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you like the way I read, then please like and share. I appreciate that. And before you go, reach back and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate that too. Don't forget to ring the bell in hopes that you'll get notification the next time that Spirit and I are in the room to speak with you. Namaste, Pisces.